All right then, so now we've got the basics of how to create classes, add on these properties and these different methods right here. I wanna introduce you to a little trick called method chaining. But what does that really mean exactly? Well, right down here where we're calling these different methods, we're saying user1.login or user2.logout, right? And then if we wanted to call another method, for example, on user1 after this, we'd have to go to the next line and say user1.logout this time, okay? Now, instead, what if we wanted to do something like this? So get rid of that and then say login.logout. So we perform one method, then we chain on another method when this is done. This is called method chaining right here. Now, right now, if we did this, it's not gonna work. I can demo that. I'll press save and we'll get an error right here. It says cannot read property logout of undefined. Now, what that means essentially is that we're trying to call this on undefined. So when we call this user1.login, we're getting returned undefined. Yeah, we're calling this function and it's logging this to the console, but the return value of this is undefined. So how do we kind of combat this? Well, to demo this, first of all, I want to create a new method. And this method is gonna be called update score. So let's create this method first of all, update score. And inside here, what I want to do is update the score or add one to the score of this user. So say for example, whenever a new user signs up, whenever we create a new user this way, we'll give them a score property. So we'll say this.score, and then initially we'll set that to zero to begin with. So new users all have a score of zero to begin with. We don't pass it in as a parameter, right? It's the same for every user. Okay, so whenever we call update score on a user, what I want to do is take their current score and then increase it by one. So what I'll do is say this dot score plus plus, right? Then what I'll do is log something to the console. I'll say console dot log and this dot email. So the current user's email, then comma, and I'll say score is now, and then comma after this, and then I'll output this dot score so the current user's score all right so it should be something like ryu at ninjas.com score is now five or six depending on what the score is so let's just try this what i'll do is save it and then over in the console i'll say user one dot update score first of all so now we can see that it's one if i call it again and it should be two if i call it again it should be three because we're increasing the score property by one each time but if I do user two dot update score, then this should just start out at one, then two, etc. Okay, so they've both got their own score property, which is updating whenever we call this method. Now, the whole idea of this lesson was method chaining. So, how then do we do this? We don't want to return an undefined value whenever we call a method. What we want to do is return the instance of that object. Now we know that the instance of the object is stored in this right here. So all we need to do is say, okay, well, once you've done this, then return this. So now every time we call this method update score on a user, now what we're doing is doing all of this functionality right here, and then we're returning this, which is that instance of the object, that particular user. So if we're returning that particular user, we can then just do another method on that user, right? So we can chain them now, or we should be able to at least. So let's return this for each individual method right here. Return this like so. And then let's give this a whirl. Down here, what I'm gonna do is say user one dot update score. And I'm gonna call dot update score again. So it does it twice. Then I'll say, log out and in fact to begin with what we'll do is say login all right so all of these different methods we're chaining together now now we couldn't do this before but now that we're returning the object every time we call one of these methods we should be able to chain these methods because if you think about it we're calling the method and then it's returning this which is essentially just user one back here so we're saying user one update score then we're returning this again. So this value is now user one. So we're saying user one dot update score again and so forth. That's the whole idea behind method chaining. So I've saved that. Let's see if this works. Okay, so first of all, ryu at ninjas.com just logged in. 
Score is now one, score is now two, just logged out. Awesome. So now that is all working. And that, my friends, is how we do method chaining.